Well, hey there, it's Betsy and welcome to Minute of Wisdom. Happy Friday. Hope everybody's day has gotten off to an amazing start so far. Um, my question for you today is, do you have a big dream or vision that's in your heart? Uh, maybe something that's been there for a long time that you're wondering if it's ever going to really come to pass? Um, because there's just so many situations and circumstances that are going on in your life right now and you feel like you're kind of about as far away from that dream that you could possibly ever be. Drop a two in the comments if you feel like that ever. If you just feel like you just don't think that it's ever, ever, ever going to happen. Well, it says in Philippians 1.6, being confident of this one thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it the day of Jesus Christ. You know... Maybe it's been a few months, maybe it's even been a few years since God first put that urge on the inside of you to do something great. And you know, right now you might have that dream that's just buried up in the attic and it's in a box and it's filed under life got in the way. Well, I've got some good news for you and some bad news. The good news is, is, is you can take your little ladder and you can climb up in the attic any day that you choose and you can take that box down. The bad news is, Life's going to continue to get in the way every single day. It's just a fact for everybody. Um, there's no way around it. You see, God fully intends to give you the desire of your heart because these are desires that, that he's actually put there. That dream that you have on the inside of you, that's not something that you just kind of pulled out of a hat. That's, that's something that God gave you. That's something that God has put on the inside of you. And he fully intends for you to fulfill this. And this scripture actually confirms that. You see, God didn't give you that dream to frustrate you. He didn't give you that dream to aggravate you. He sees the end from the beginning. And he knew exactly what was going to be happening in your life the day that he gave you that dream. And he knew exactly what was going to be happening in your life today. <laughs> what you need to understand about your circumstances is if there's something that's happening in your life right now that could, could even possibly stop your destiny, God would never have allowed it to be there. And as long as you continue to allow your circumstances to block you, you're going to be miserable. You're, you're going to live a sad, happy, unfulfilled life because the greatest happiness that you will ever have is found in the center of God's will for your life. It says in Romans 8.28 that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to His purpose. This means that God will take all of your circumstances, the good, the bad, the ugly, and, and, and everything in between, and He will put them all together to create an amazing life for you. But He can't give you anything amazing. He can't give you that amazing life if you've got it stuffed up in the attic. You see, God didn't give you that dream for you to give up on it. So it's time to make a decision. What is that dream really worth to you? Are you willing to fight for what it is that you have in your heart? Or are you gonna to continue to leave that box up in the attic right where it is? Guys, I did that for years. I had a dream that was so big that I didn't believe that, that it could ever happen. Um, I stuffed it away because I had so many doubts and so many fears and so many insecurities and all this junk and I wasted a whole lot of time. I encourage you to climb up in the attic today. Bring that box down today and ask God for help today. Because it's when I finally surrendered the dream and I stopped trying to figure everything out by myself that God stepped in and he showed me the steps to make it work. And no, he is not going to stop life from getting in the way. <laughs> it's going to happen. But he will show you the best way to overcome your challenges and the best way for you to get started. And he will lead you every step of the way. But he can lead you anywhere if you don't first get started. So guys, if you need any help figuring it out, I love talking to people about their purpose. I love brainstorming with people and just kind of helping them to, to figure out a way. I've, I've, I have a knack, I have a gift of helping people to see what it is that's stopping and blocking them. Um, so I'd love to chat with you. Send me a message. I'll chat with you. I would love to chat with you anytime. So anyway, I really appreciate you guys taking 
the time to watch this. If you found this information valuable, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with somebody that you think might benefit. And again, thanks for watching. Hope everybody has an awesome rest of your day and an amazing and blessed weekend. Take care. God bless.